Rhonda and welcome back to our kitchen. Tonight I am uh, going to be making something that not everybody has heard of. Um, it was uh, real popular in our household growing up. My mom would whip up a batch of these with um, any kind of beans or soup or greens and that is some good old fried cornbread. Now, the ingredients are super simple. Um, Y'all know how I roll, I like simple, but um, you can whip these up. It goes a long way if you're feeding your family, but um, it's chilly outside tonight because good Lord knows uh, spring is just teasing us. It'll be really warm one day, nope. Just kidding, it's gonna be chilly. So it's a greens and cornbread kind of night. So I'm gonna show y'all how to whip up this uh, fried cornbread um, so that y'all can enjoy it. Of those that have never heard of it, just sit back and watch because this is gonna be a keeper. All right, y'all, this is all that uh, it's gonna take to make this uh, fried cornbread. It's just some white lily. I've got some self-rising flour. I've got some good old yellow cornmeal. Um, I'm gonna add in some a little bit of baking powder and salt, just a smidge of sugar, not much. Um, and you don't have to add no sugar at all. In fact, in my normal normal cornbread, we don't add sugar around here. We um, enjoy it as it is, but I'm just gonna add just a little pinch in there and um, an egg and some buttermilk and that is all. So, now I'm gonna um, half this recipe because it's just me and Russell and we ain't um, trying to eat a whole plate of, <laughs> whole plate of hoe cakes. <laughs> so, oh, <man. laughs> and I will say that when I said the hoe cakes, some people call these hoe cakes, we always called it fried cornbread. So um, when we would be explaining it to people, oh yeah, mama makes fried cornbread. They're like, what? And then we'd tell what it was, they're like, oh, y'all eating hoe cakes. So, <laughs> so you call them whatever you want to call them, but um, I call them. I call them yummy, that's right. So I'm gonna split this. I'm gonna just do a half a cup of the self-rising flour. Like so, like so. And a half a cup of the yellow cornmeal. Now, of course, I'm um, half in the recipe. It would be one cup. Um, and it makes a good bit too. And um, now I'm gonna put in a little bit Maybe just about an eighth of a teaspoon, just a little bit of a baking powder, and just a little, just a smidgen of salt, about the same. We're gonna give that just a little mix up. Now I'm adding just a little sugar. I just stole the sugar off off our coffee bar. <laughs> just gonna put a little bit in there. Now these are not pancakes. Don't be confused when you see them. Think they're pancakes, because they are not. They, they're good. All right, one egg. And then I'm gonna do about a half a cup of buttermilk. You can use milk if you want to, but um, I do like me some buttermilk. Yeah. Yes. Cornbread. Mm. Cornbread, yes. And you're gonna eyeball this and um it's gonna it's gonna be like a little thicker than pancakes. But here's what she's looking like. I'm just gonna give this a little stir and if I think it needs a little more milk, honey, we gonna add it in there. And this is pretty thick. I might add just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little bit of flavor, just a little bit of goodness. I've got just a little bit of bacon grease. This is just gonna give it just a little straight up good. Just a just a little hmm, what's up there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna also put it my grease back there. So go get that good, good flavor. I promise you, that's what your grandmas and stuff was using, putting it in there. Actually, they was frying it in lard back in the day. So um, this ain't a, um, this is not a keto friendly nah, kind of situation, and this is not a diet. 
So if you're on a diet, just um, you might want to skip this one. We have a playlist of low carb meals. Oh yes, we Be really sure do. To check those out. <laughs> we keep promising we're gonna come back with some more. We are. We've been in the right off. off We've the rail um, for a while. yes, Lord, been in the been in been in the ditch in the in the weeds, yeah. <laughs> right in the weeds. All right, y'all. This is the consistency that you want right there. Look at there. That's what you want. Now, I am um, getting my oil hot back here. You don't want it screaming hot, but you do want to, um, you do want to, what I do is I just sprinkle just a little bit of flour and see if it sizzles. If so, you're good to go. So, we're going to come around here and fry this cornbread up. All right, y'all, I have just covered the bottom with some vegetable. I'm going to add just a little bit of this. This bacon grease, this flavor here, all this goodness. Yep, she's a she's a yelling at me, ain't she? Oh, I guess I need something to flip them with. Take one thing and get something else. All right, it's sizzling. We know that, but here we go. There's the test. See how that flour does? All right. All right. You might want to back him up, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna spoon some of this in there. Now you don't wanna make a big old whole cakes. You ain't trying to, you know, make a big old pan of it. Just wanna do some little small ones. And I'm telling you, it's gonna look, look like pancake, but it's not. We got our greens warmed up. Got us some good old collard greens. And y'all, if you hadn't seen that video, Russell, I guess we'll link it. Let him link it. Yeah. Now this is getting hot real quick. Uh-oh. Be careful, I don't want to get you. This is getting real hot. You'll know it's time to flip when you see them bubble, just like some pancakes. I may put just a little bit more grease than I normally do. Look at there, y'all. Goodness. Lordy. Some goodness for sure. Yummy. Just like Grandma used to make, y'all. Mm -hmm. or, or in our household, my mama. It's an old timey. It is. Yeah, this is. This is some good stuff. And you gotta have your butter ready. Yes. Gotta have that butter ready to just slap on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Look at me doing it up. You're doing it good. All right. Flipped her over. She got all wonky. It's a little wonky donkey there. <laughs> a little wonky donkey. Uh, a little wonky donkey. Look at it rising up. Man. Yep. I don't, I'm trying not to splash you. Look at this, y'all. Look right here. See that? Mm, that's crispiness right here. Ooh. Right there. That's crispy. That's goodness right there. Now, you can do these... Uh, this fried cornbread all kind of ways. There is the hot water method um, where you mix hot water with it and that's good too. But uh, this is how this is how my mom always did hers. I know I have tough hands. I'm assisting. <laughs> hands of steel. Hands of steel, y'all. Hands of steel. Look how pretty these are. Hello. Man. It's going to be good. They look delicious. They are. They rise up. Crunchy. I'll let you know, Ooh. yes. And um, I used to eat them uh, left over the next day. I throw me some uh, jelly or preserves or even some syrup like a pancake. I did. Uh, Y'all know how I am with some bread now. We ain't... We ain't Gonna waste that. Mm -hmm. Nope. I'm just gonna get in there and help this little piece going astray. All right, y'all. I'm just gonna get me some paper towel here, and um, and when I take it out, I always put it on a little piece of paper towel to get some of that grease out. Then we're gonna put some butter on it, and we're gonna have some with our greens. Yes. All right. All right, y'all, that took all of about 10 minutes. 
from start to finish. Um, had our little greens warmed up, ready to go. And Russell, you are up, sugar. <laughs> He's ready I'm for it. coming in hot, y'all. He's limping in I'm hot. limping in hot, yeah. Hey, y'all. Yep. All righty. Yeah. Love me some greens, y'all. Love us some greens. There ain't yeah, nothing uh, better. When when we make a big pot of them, they don't go to waste. We freeze them, and you can eat them. They yep. warm up so good. They do. Great flavor. Great flavor. Good stuff. And but today is a delicacy, really. When we, when you talk about southern eating and stuff like that, uh, fried cornbread is right up there. At the way top up there. there, honey. Way up there. And there's a way to eat this stuff, <laughs> and. You know, a lot of people eat stuff a lot of different ways, but if you know, you know on this deal here. You know, you ain't, you know, I love the greens. I don't get me wrong. You just sop up that juice. Man. Oh, glory. <laughs> it is good. Home run time, y'all. It is so good. If I hadn't had back surgery, I'd be doing <laughs> a happy dance. Just lift a foot or something. <laughs> yeah. Let us know yeah. you're happy. <laughs> I, I, in your mind, imagine me doing a little happy dance. He just that's did, what my, in my mind, that's what my uh, taste buds are doing. He very, just did a backflip. My, my taste buds, <laughs> I did a mental backflip. He did a whoop. We got to go back in for a second. Uh, it's good. A second, a second trip. A second trip into the uh, pot liquor here. Yes. Look at that. So Ooh. good, y'all. So good. Mm. It's always the simplest things that are just so good. I mean, this takes me back, right back to my mama's table, right back to my mama's table. And uh, I just told him, I said, when I taste, it, I said, oh, it reminds me of cold days coming in. Mama had all this cooking. Yes. Anyway, it is. It does. It takes you back down memory lane. Yeah, now this I, my, one, my mama, my my mama is is great at making cornbread but she didn't make fried cornbread a whole lot no. that i can recall now my yeah. grandmother did a lot yeah um they call them hoe cakes they didn't call them cornbread but once again it goes back to our where we're from we're both from south carolina yep. three hours apart and we eat completely different things yeah. that i've brought up he's like, i never heard of that but yeah, um just i don't know i don't know what the difference is it in is state, why it's so uh you know, upstate does things one way and likes things yeah. one way, and in the low country they do things completely yep. different. Yep. So a lot the, more rice. Yes, in, lots in of the rice. Low country, uh, mm -hmm. In in the low country. More potatoes, I think, up here. More potatoes up here. Uh, yeah. My daddy, I, I said this a couple beans. of videos ago with beans and cornbread, and that's his. Yeah. That's his, his go-to. Go He's still to this day. You know, yeah. Um, I didn't eat as much of this growing up, and I wish I had. I was missing out because it's uh, delicious. Out. I ate you your hair. You, you can't be. You can't be fried cornbread. You, you can't cannot. Be, I'm telling you. That's, you can't. That's uh, as good a eating as there is, period. And, you know, with this, um, we were just talking about this earlier. Um, this is why, you know, you hear stories from your grandmas and your, your parents saying, look, sometimes all we had was cornbread exactly right. and some milk or whatever. Uh, this was a meal within itself yes. back in the day. Yes. So um, Corn was... Uh, in, in my family, the stories I've been told, my, my grandfather was a sharecropper and that's what they grew was corn. And so they had an abundance of corn, so they ate a lot of cornbread. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that was just what they had to eat. You know, yep. what you grew is what you ate back in them days. So, yeah. Um, and we had a big family. There's uh, four uh, of us too. kids, yeah. Yeah. four of us kids. So six of us, mama was always trying to feed. So um, this always was a big hit. And um, I'm telling you, we had this when we had um, vegetable beef soup. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, vegetable beef <laughs> yep. soup, um, any kind of greens, um, chicken and dumplings. I mean, anything, beans, obviously any kind it of beans. It pairs so well. It, it pairs does, so well so it really foods. does. Um, so don't cheat yourself out yeah, of it. Let us know in the comments that y'all had your cornbread this way yep. and what your favorite side is with your cornbread. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say probably greens is my favorite. Yeah. I, uh, greens and cornbread are like this. That's the best. I like vegetable like beef, beef soup, too. soup and cornbread or it. chili and cornbread or yep. uh, beans and cornbread. I mean, you know, for my daddy, that's his favorite, the beans for sure. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway. Greens is the way, y'all. Yeah. And it, it stretches so far to... You know, that was half a recipe. Oh, yeah, it was it, half. It's, it's plenty. We still we had got five pieces on just yeah. a half a recipe. You know, it, it, you got a big family, man, that cornbread, it'll, 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 it'll stretch. stretch it out. Yep. 
It will, and that little bit of bacon in it, y'all, a little bit of bacon grease, it makes it a lot oh of flavor. Oh my goodness, lots of flavor. <laughs> lots of flavor. Lots of goodness, so um, you don't always see that part of it, but um, y'all know me and my bacon and my bacon stuff. Yeah, we love it. That's right. Yeah. I'm walking, living proof, y'all. But um, once again, it's not a diet. It's not. It's definitely real. It's not diet food. No, it is But not. it is delicious, and that, you know, this it's is. It's part of our growing up. It is. It's the stuff we grew up eating. So it's, yeah. uh, you know, very common in our house. And, uh -huh. yep. So for the ones of y'all ain't never heard of no hoe cake, ain't never heard of no fried cornbread, this is for you. Excellent, <laughs> easy recipe. Excellent. Make it for your peeps and they'll be, what in the world you done gave me? This is yeah. delicious. Yep. Make a surprise with them. Yeah, but like, let me let me treat y'all. <laughs> <today. laughs> yeah. Oh goodness, yep. So um, I hope y'all tried. If you tried, do let us know in the comments. But um, we're about to have us some greens. It's got some uh, ham hocks in these greens, yeah, and Ooh, it's, it's, to about to, it's about to be on. It's about to be on. Yeah. Yep. I'm just sitting here, been looking we at both it. Like, we got to get this yeah, right giving it a look. <laughs> Are you about to come to mama? That's the sign we need. That's the sign we need to get this thing wrapped yes. up. Yes. Well, y'all till next time. Yeah. No. We appreciate y'all watching. We though. really we do. do. Uh, we really do. Yep. yep. And this is a good one. This is. Y'all really, it I'm telling you. It is a good I, I, one. We, I say that a lot, but, you know, this is really a part of our heritage, what we mm -hmm. grew up, what our parents grew up eating and this. But good stuff, y'all. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, y'all. For real this time, till next time. Peace. Oh, like and subscribe and all oh, that yeah, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. For the second time. Peace. <laughs>